Let's do this one. Akru walks up an escalator that is moving upwards and counts 90 steps. Uh, before we go further, I must confess, I hate these escalator questions. Right? So let's do this from first principles. We'll walk this through slowly. Bakru walks down the same escalator that is moving upwards and counts 180 steps. It is noted that Bakru takes three times as many steps as Akru does in a given time. So Bakru is three times Akru. It is also known that the number of steps that Akru takes per minute is greater, is less than 11. Number of steps that Bakru takes per minute is more than 27. A is less than 11, B is more than 27. This seems like a number systems question. Chakru who takes twice as many steps as Akru in a given time travels up the escalator for two minutes after which the escalator stops. The escalator gives up on Chakru. I feel like giving up on the question. How many more steps should he walk up to reach the top? And let's go step by step. We know Bakru is three times Akru. We know A is less than 11, B is greater than 27. Let's this gives away what A and B are. Get a sense like that. A is less than 11. So A could be 10, 9, 8. If A were 10, 9, 8, B would be 30, 27, 24 and so on. B is more than 27. So all this are ruled out. So this, this whole story here, from here to here, it's an elaborate story which tells us A is 10, B is 30. A should be less than 11, B should be more than 27. It all tells us that A is 10, B is 30. So I'm going to go back to the digital version, see how we've done this. We've just said A is, Akru travels at A, Bakru travels at 3A. Let the escalator sleep be, step speed be n steps per minute. 1 and 3, 2, 6, 3, 9, all of these are possible. 9, 27, 10, 30, 11, 33. The 10, 30 is the only feasible solution. We know that. So I'll keep that in mind. So no, Akru takes 10 steps per minute, Bakru takes 30 steps per minute and Chakru takes 20 per minute. This much we know. Now let's come back to the question, the first statement. Akru counts 90 steps and Bakru counts 180 steps. Fine. Akru walking upwards has counted 90 steps. So he should have traveled for 90 by 10 equal to 9 minutes. He's counting 90 steps. He takes 10 steps a minute, he travels for 90 steps. In these 9 minutes, the escalator would have traveled 9 in right? or a crew would have traveled 90 plus 9 in. It's, escalator is along with him. Escalator is also contributing to the way he is traveling. Now, Bakru travels 180 steps. He travels at 30 steps a minute or Bakru travels for 180 by 30 equals 6 minutes. In this 6 minutes, the escalator would have done 6 in steps. But remember, Bakru is walking downwards, is against the escalator, or he would have traveled 180 minus 6n. Going up or coming down, the number of steps should be same, or 90 plus 9n, which is what Akru would have traveled, is same as 180 minus 6n. With this, we can find an 9n plus 6n is 180 minus 90, or 15n is 90, or n is 6. The escalator does six steps per minute. It's important. Now, how many steps are there totally? That is either equal to 90 plus 9n or 180 minus 6n. We take this, it is 90 plus 9 into 6, which is 90 plus 54, which is 144 steps. There are totally 144 steps in this escalator. Now, let's forget about all this and come and focus on Chakru, who does 20 steps a minute. Chakru does 20 steps a minute. He travels for 2 minutes before the escalator stops. In this 2 minutes, he would have traveled 20 into 2, which is 40 steps. In the same 2 minutes, the escalator would have done 2 into 6, which is 12 steps. So, he has totally traveled 52 steps. Totally, there are 144 steps remaining. Or he has to travel 144 minus 52, which is 92 more steps. To reach where he wants to. In all of these questions, keep a couple of things in mind. Keep the direction in mind, that is important. And, and, and break it into what the man does and what the escalator does. So have a speed for man, speed for escalator. And when you account for steps, you should remember that you could be going along with the escalator or opposite to the escalator. So escalator is going up and you are also going up, then the two contributions add up. The escalator is going up but you are coming down then one will cancel out the other. Keep that in mind and isolate people speed 
and escalator speed. Can compute them separately and then put them together here. 